The light at the end of the tunnel was not the jungle I was hoping for. Instead, I found myself in what looked like an office. With cabinets, desks, and of course, a damn guard. Later, I'd realized that I was in one of the two main buildings of the military base. The building had three floors, hidden secrets, and a few unexpected surprises. Anyway, I headed towards the only exit, which was close to the first floor office I started in. Huh? What was that? In the beginning, I didn't know exactly where I was, but I knew for sure I wasn't outside. Now that I could get a signal, calling the colonel crossed my mind, but I realized I didn't have much to report. Speak of the devil. Son, do you copy? Copy, colonel. For the love of God, where have you been? I thought you were dead. As I said, colonel, there's no signal in the sewers. Give me a sit rep, son. My report. After crossing a mile of smelly, mutant-infested shit streams, fighting thousands of rodents and nearly being torn apart by some shredders, I managed to get out of there, and I'm still in this fucking military base. Don't lose your marbles, son. You have plenty of nighttime, and they don't know your location. Take advantage of this and get the hell out of there. Just don't forget the documents. We need to find out more about Operation Jericho. If I make it out alive, will you write me a recommendation letter? If you make it out, we'll give you a damn purple cross. Over and out. I had no doubt that the Colonel worked for the government. Why is that? Because the only thing that old bastard did was demand, demand, demand. something. There, right in front of me, was the sick bay. Walking through that door changed everything forever. Uh, it's him. It's the prisoner that hit us. It turned out that all the guards I knocked out were brought to the sick bay. 
and some were still there. Freeze! Don't move or I'll shoot! Okay, I surrender. The woman that was aiming at me was the doctor. She, of course, was very pissed off because of the copious amount of work I caused. What a face. What a body. What a beauty. This girl was smoking hot, and she had a gun aimed straight at my head. At that distance, I couldn't do anything to neutralize her. I had to improvise. I needed something that would cause a non-lethal wound, like a sharp piece of metal. But, I had to grab it without making a single step. Have you ever had a gun pointed at you? Your adrenaline skyrockets. You react on instinct. Everything happened so fast that the doctor had no time to react. In one swift movement, I took the wire, looked deep within the doctor's eyes, and... I stuck it in my chest. What the hell did you just do? I just hurt myself. Are you nuts or what? Hey, a coin! There, right in front of me, was the sick bay. Walking through that door changed everything forever. <gasps> Have you ever had a gun pointed at? I stuck it in my belly. What the hell did you just do? I just hurt myself. Are you nuts or what? Now you can't shoot me. What do you mean? You just made it easier for me. According to the degree on your wall, you're a doctor. The Hippocratic Oath you took as a doctor forces you to aid your patients and also forces you to cause patients no harm. I've been injured in a sick bay. Your sick bay. Therefore, I'm now your patient. And I'm forced to assist you. You bastard! Yeah, been called that plenty of times. By the way, I'm bleeding. Fine. I'll heal you. Then you get the hell out of here. You're done. It's no longer bleeding. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. By the way... Hey, what was that for? That's for all the extra hours. I'm working because of you. It's just as well that you didn't kill anyone. Kill someone? Me? Do I look like an assassin? After arguing for a while, the doctor and I reached an understanding. I would not kill anyone, and she would help me escape. You'll find my access card in my jacket. There are first aid kits in the closet. Take some. If you shoot someone, use them so they don't bleed to death. Doctor, it hurts. Don't speak, Mike. You have a broken jaw. Try to get some sleep. My rack! You couldn't just take the card from the pocket. It's kill or be killed. My sight's still fuzzy, Doctor. That's expected. You got hit pretty hard. But it looks like your eyes will recover. 
Morphine. I've already given you too much. I can't give you any more. Sorry. How's the head? Still hurts. Everything is blurry. Finally had a gun. Now I could kill those guards. That is, if I were an assassin and didn't promise the doctor I wouldn't murder anyone. So if I shot someone, I had to use a first aid kit to heal them before they bled to death. So you really didn't kill anyone? Of course not. I'm not an assassin. The gun I found was empty, but it had a 10 bullet magazine. So I loaded it up with any bullets I found. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Hi, friend. How's that escape going? Still alive and free. So far. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in the outskirts of Katsala, taking some pictures of a bunch of military trucks. There was too much security. They were obviously hiding something. I couldn't clearly see what they were loading, so I got closer. Turns out, I got too close. Next thing you know, I was surrounded by a bunch of pricks aiming rifles at my head. Did you at least manage to see what they were loading? Sure did, but I was disappointed. What did you see? Concrete. Concrete? Are you kidding? Two huge rectangular concrete blocks. Each could barely fit into a truck. You were imprisoned for a piece of concrete? Fuck, man. I'd be disappointed too. Too much security for something so mundane. But enough about me. You should get back to your escape, my friend. Hey, a coin! found more documents. They look like... 
A list of coordinates. Coordinates of what? This document is encoded as well. I don't know what the coordinates are for. Huh. They could be strike targets. Those bastards could be planning to attack us. This is Jesse Fox. Over. This is the doctor. Over. What? Doctor? But how? How is the escape going? Just fine. Trying to find a way out of this building. Well, my access card won't work. It's only clearance level two. Leaving the building requires level three clearance. Where would I find that? The officers would have them. Their offices are on the third floor. Wow. Thanks for the help. I didn't know you cared about me. What I care about is that you leave ASAP, so I stop getting so many patients. By the way, what's your name? My name is Doctor, over and out. Colonel? Fox, do you have what you need to leave? Not yet, Colonel, but a contact told me where to find an access card. A contact? Yes, a doctor. A doctor? Give me a description. She is smoking hot. Oh, for God's sake, control your hormones, son. We're in the middle of a very serious operation. Listen, Colonel, make no mistake. I'm not in any operation of yours, nor am I any of your soldiers. I'm only trying to escape from this damn place. Damn it, Jess! Don't you realize this isn't an escape, son? You must realize Operation Jericho could end up with countless casualties. And it's your moral duty as a citizen to prevent it. Prevent it? Me? Is that a joke? Yes, you! Search every damn office in that building. For any information you can prevent, that damned plan. Over and out. I noticed a few abandoned crates that were thirsty for some punch. They seemed easy to reach. That is, until the containers started to drop.
boss defeated. This is Jesse Fox. Over. Doctor here. Hey, Jesse, I need a small favor. Uh, favor? Of course. The guards you injured on the first floor just keep coming in. Can you find a less... vicious way to handle them? Not that I care, per se, but I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. Oh. Sorry, Doc. You can count on me. You're drooling. Uh... What? Oh, sorry. Her voice was so damn sexy. Is my voice not feminine enough for you? Well, it's girly, of course, but... Oh, shut up. Continue your story. I knew better than to punch while wearing the suit. It was delicate and could tear. Bad news, no punches while wearing the suit. Good news, scoring more points with the doctor. I climbed down into a pokey little room that seemed to be stocked with a lot of chemicals. I could brew up some chloroform to put the guards to sleep and score points with the doctor. Hold on, you have expertise in chemistry? Chemistry's not that hard. You just have to mix the ingredients correctly. A guard with his back turned was listening to music. It was the perfect chance to test out the chloroform. I just needed to sneak up and put him to sleep.